Hello everyone, this is Moss Time Robo coming at you with another Digital Tamers Reborn video. Okay, cool, bargaining the trip is here, so let's see how close you are to being able to take it on. I think you might be able to. Good, if you can take this on, that will expedite literally everything. Also, your leveling, expedite us getting money, which will make it easier to not only level up, but get our level up unlocked, which we will need when we get you to level 45, and possibly get some good items from it, and just all sorts of good stuff that can come from this. Seems like bargaining on the trip does show up quite a bit, so I'm lucky in that regard. See how, like, literally, we're gonna level up from just one visit, if you will. It's just insane how much XP you get from this. It's like so easy, and you get so much XP and money. Nothing else I've ever seen in this game comes close to the efficiency of this level up. Like on the ratio of money, XP, and difficulty, this is just supreme. Gonna try to just go ahead and push our HP up to 5,000 before we move on. Probably a little bit of an overkill at this point, but we can afford it. Now, don't get me wrong, I like how both of my melee attacks are like pseudo range attacks. But I would prefer it if one of them was like a much closer attack that doesn't require as much build up. probably go ahead and take a look at um, how much money we have to see how close we're getting to our goal. Still quite a ways away. Um, still, I'm gonna try and make sure to level everybody up. As I have said before, it might not mean a lot, but grabbing them some XP where I can will help in the very long term. <laughs> Love it when you get those energies like that because it greatly expedites our training. Yes, yes. I'm basically positive we're gonna get to the level we need to get to 
Um, I mean, we're gonna get to the money we need to get to before we get to the level we need to get to. Because this is just such a great way to earn money. Even more so than XP. Because there's a few things that come close to this efficiency or you know, even better that we could probably do relatively soon. Like, maybe not right now, but wouldn't be a huge um, effort to get at the point of them being available to us. But this, the money, and this is the main thing about it. Because money essentially lets us pay for stats, and to a lesser extent, XP. With these training uh, boosters. Right now, it looks like we're sitting around two fights per level. Which will probably continue for the immediate future anyways. Maybe towards the end of this video, we'll probably have something closer to... Three fights per level? Maybe like... Maybe with training, we can have it be a little bit easier. Still sitting right around two fights. Our training is not so much leveling us up anymore as it's just kind of helping us maintain the two fight equilibrium. Also, I suppose it could probably be a good time to bring it up now. The series has been going on for a decent little while. And while we are making progress, it has been pretty slow. And I just wanted to make sure that everyone still wants this series to go on. Because, like, I can't count how many times, you know, I've done this exact thing. Where I just sit here and grind this over and over and over again. Because there's literally nothing else for me to do if I want to progress. And, um... I just wanted to make sure that everybody was alright with that. And that everybody's still on board. Um, or if you guys would like to see me... You shift my attention to other series. I'm almost done with Digimon Survive. And after I get done with that, I will be... Shifting to um, some other things as well. So there will be a break in Digimon content, I guess. For a little while. In case you guys are getting a little bit burnt out on Digimon. you guys whether or not you want this series to continue or if you'd like it to be replaced with something else whether the, something else is digimon related or not digimon related would be up to you i could play some other digimon game in this place or any number of other games or i could keep playing this as long as you guys are enjoying it 
I just kind of worry that yeah, doing the same grind over and over again might get old. Hopefully it won't be that much longer before we're able to move on to something new. In this game, I mean. Like I'm not going to have any delusions about it, we're not going to be in this episode, or probably even next episode. But, it might not be as long as it has been. You know, every episode we go into gets us one step closer to new content. As we use our final training boost here, I suppose it'd be a fairly good time to check on the prices again. Yeah, we're getting closer. See if anybody else needs some training that they can do. <clears throat> How's your age looking? 19. Oh, well, you guys age, like, incredibly slowly whenever I'm not feeding you uh, life-shortening foods. Which is good. Like, I'm not sure how the aging works exactly, but I'm glad that they age very slowly. I'd hate for them all to like die of old age before I could get the other Digimon ready to dumb evolve them. Also gonna have to come to the decision of whether or not I would rather keep saving money or uh, spend it on some more training boosters. I think I will buy a training booster right now, probably just like a single one or something and um, because that will level us up and now we get you up to like 600 Hopefully we can start one-shotting these guys. At least one shot the first guy. The second one has a little bit more health. Now while we're stuck at the, pretty hard stuck even, at um, three fights per level, it's not that big of a deal, because we're getting really close to our unlock too, so we'll um, 
be able to start buying more training boosters after that. And we do not do a single training. We, we make profit. Like, we only would really buy like a training boost every like three wins or something like that. In the general ballpark. And also we haven't really gotten any drops for video, which is weird. Usually we get like some of those little reroll tokens, if nothing else. I will buy another training booster. Because like I said, I'll buy like two of them. Because as I said, we um, make enough money to justify it, I think. And while it doesn't do a lot to alleviate our XP concerns, it will matter in the very long run. It will slowly help us to where we might like skip one level like every, I don't know, like 10 trainings or something like that. Like I said, it's going to be a very long term investment, but it, I think it'll pay off because we really want that extra, those extra stats. We got like less than a minute until reset, so we're gonna go hard on this. Hopefully it'll just reset into uh, the same challenge again. If we could be so lucky. We have been very lucky with how often we've been getting this recently, so... Can't really complain, even if it doesn't. Even if we like re roll a lot and don't get it, it's still gonna be like, you know, we made it this far. And it is reset. So it's gonna be the last one we get before we see what it reset it into. Okay, it's back. Good. Cool. Glad to see that. Just gonna do a little bit of training for all these guys again. I think this will be where we go ahead in this episode, but um, thank you guys for watching. This is Mawasan Boba signing off. Hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye, God bless, and I'll see you all in the next one. Yes. Alright. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.